One of the questions we get asked a lot is what do we do for money? In this episode, we share what we do when our funds are running low, and we give you a glimpse inside the work day on a barge. Hi, we're the James family. Are you sick of your day-to-day life? Ever thought about doing something different? Well, we did just that. We bought an unfinished aluminium catamaran and we're fixing her up as we sail around the world. Come along for the journey and click subscribe. Daddy? Mommy? Charlie? We are anchored in Chute Harbour in Airly Beach and picking up work on the barges to replenish our cruising kitty. We pick up any ships that come our way. Master, engineer, and deckhand. And even ships with 4 a.m. starts. And today, we are bringing you to work with us on one of the barges. So, good morning, guys. Morning. It is super early in the morning, and we're getting ready to go to work. Yeah, the wind's up. It uh, was a strong wind west yesterday, and it's a bit overcast. So, to be fair, it's actually a perfect time to work because it's not as much fun as it normally would be on board. So. You might as well be out there earning a bit of money. Yeah. So we're in Shoot Harbour and we're going to go across to the barge and um, go across to Hamilton Island. Yeah. Uh, we've just arrived ashore. Say hello. Charlie's right there. The barge is right there and Sam is over here in the darkness. You can see the tender and he's putting the tender on uh, the tender mooring so you can hop off like on the shore, tie the tender up and then pull it out um, to the mooring so that when the tide goes in and out at work, tender's safe. What's that? <laughs> you want your life jacket off now? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, we can do that. What's up ahead? Are they birds? There's a whole bunch of birds over there. Ooh. He said, welcome to the barn. Over the past year, we have been cruising the east coast of Australia and picking up ships and casual work as we travel. We have made Sam's tickets international so that we can pick up work around the globe as we travel. So let's give you guys a tour of the bridge. So we've got the steering station here where Sam is. We've got the chart plotter up there. The chart plotter I wish we had. <laughs> <laughs> We've got wind instruments here. This one is the autopilot. It's got the radio and it's on channel 16. Radar right here. Throttles, obviously that's the wheel. We've got the compass. We've got both engines. And then up here is also a compass as well. And there's also more radios, channel 40, channel 68. And then we've got Charlie over there coloring. We've got aircon, which is super nice. Chair there for relaxing. As we come back here on the left, this is the toilet two accommodation areas in the back but they're currently not being used they're just used as storage um so just storage like this because this is a day boat they don't use the the two beds 
and this one is a twin bed as well we've got the fridge and freezer here and then here is the best part this is the galley so you've got tea coffee everything you want here sitting area everything is down here or up above and everything locks like so yes that is the bridge of the barge just backed off the wharf and yeah, leaving shine and light for a bit hopefully she'll be okay shining lights right there So we're currently departing Chute Harbour, going past a few of the charter boat companies and we're headed out, out this way and yeah, today's looking a lot better than, uh, than it was yesterday so this should be a few, these two runs should be really good. The barge does two runs daily, servicing from Chute Harbour to the island and it brings nearly all the freight from large semi-trailers to small boxes and everything in between including island staff as passengers she's certified to take over 200 people as passengers and we are really lucky that Charlie and I were able to come to work as passengers I can't see the end but we'll see it through good day to be a skipper. Um, when I help out on here I do uh, engineering uh, as well and that's the engineers out on the deck and today I'm very grateful that the shift I have is a skipper shift because uh, it is not very pleasant at all out there. This is definitely the wet, wet Sundays at the moment instead of the wet Sundays. After offloading and reloading the barge at the island, it's time to turn around and head back to Chute Harbour. The barge goes nine knots and the passage between the island and the mainland is just over an hour long. Then it's a quick turnaround, offloading and reloading the barge at Chute Harbour and then it's back out to the island again. The roughest part of the journey is in the Whitsunday Passage. Today it's blowing southeasterly at 15 to 20 knots.
We're really lucky that Charlie loves the barge and enjoys watching all the boats and activities from the bridge. And just like that, we are headed back to Shoot Harbor on the final run. We will be working out of Shoot Harbor on the various barges for the next couple months. And we will be out around the Whitsundays exploring the islands on days off. It's the perfect combination of work and play. And that's the day done and dusted. Yeah, we're pretty lucky. You can see this is work here and our boat. On this lens, it's not the best, but it's really not very far at all. Is right. There. Work. Home. <laughs> <laughs> Time to head home. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you are enjoying our videos and would like to help support us making videos and content, consider becoming a Patreon. The link is in the description below. And don't forget to click those like and subscribe buttons, and we will see you all next week.